Hello guys, welcome to Cap Industries. Today I'm just doing a, a little video uh, where I'm helping out a friend of mine, Samuel from Gold Class Automotive. Um, what we're doing is taking the intake manifold off my uh, Pajero and doing a full clean out of the diesel soot that gets built up inside it. So I'll take you along and show you a bit of the process and uh, we're also fitting a catch can which I'll show you as well. Thanks for joining, hope you enjoy the little video, thanks. All right, look at this one, so this is the intake that we are taking off and you can see there just the amount of soot that's built up and that's just the uh, small amount so far. Look at that. So diesels fill their intakes up with really gross soot because they have a thing called an EGR. Exhaust gas return, is it Sam? I don't know what it is. Yeah, exhaust gas recirculation. Uh, recirculation. And it's uh, a horrible thing. But today we're going to clean out the intake manifold and hopefully make it perfect. There's some of the parts that we're gonna be using. The old oven cleaner. You'll be spraying lots and lots of this stuff into the intake manifold when it's off and trying to clean out that soot. And this is the um, <clears throat> catch can that we purchased from Western Filters. This is their eBay store online. Awesome kit because it comes with everything you need to install it into the uh, Jero. So we'll get to fitting all that soon as well. The purpose behind a catch can is that it catches a lot of the bypass oil which then would normally go into your intake manifold oil up the intake manifold and then the EGR recirculates soot and then that soot sticks to the oily intake which is a uh, really gross that's why it just keeps from building a layer upon layer upon layer and then it just chokes the intake right down so fitting an oil catch can is a really good thing to do if you do have a uh, diesel vehicle uh, actually, even better for petrol vehicles because with petrol vehicles, uh, oil in the intake system will lower your octane rating of the fuel and cause pre-detonation and pinging. So, very much needed in turbo petrol vehicles. So this one's the Western Filters one. It's a Provent 200 and it's a paper filter. And it works really well. I've heard good reviews about it, and apparently these things fit up really nicely. All right, so this part of the manifold is ready to come off. Almost. She's away. Your beauty. Whoa. Oh, look at that stuff. Oh, look at the size of that big boy. Yuck. Bit in there. Nice. Okay, so coming down over into the dirt here, just so that we don't destroy his living room. I was going to do it in his kitchen, but apparently didn't want me to do that. Uh, so that's all the soot and junk inside the uh, manifold. And uh, going to quickly give it a good clean now with this oven cleaner. Let's go to town in it. Let it sit there for a bit and then we'll hit it with the gurney. Okay, so just after a couple of minutes of scraping and uh, spraying, that much has come out just from this little bit. And as you can see, there's still more in there. Look how much is in there. That's, a, that's an inch thick sludge so 
Man, I'm so glad we're doing this. This is disgusting. Uh, if you have a diesel car, and all diesels will do it, Ford Ranger, Hilux, Triton, everything. They're all gonna do exactly this. And it's something you need to do every 100,000 or so. My car's done 150,000. And uh, yeah, so this is the first time it's been done, I'm pretty sure. And that's gross. That's just from this little part. <laughs> Imagine what the rest is gonna be like. Awesome. Now, one thing is weird. This stuff stinks. It smells like burning clutch and tires like you get at the drags. Whew, it's horrible. I don't mind the smell of burning tires, but this has got more of a clutchy smell, which is gross. But it works. Okay, time to hit it with the high pressure hose. I'll put it there. Oh, yuck. Let's have a look. Oh, much better. Still a bit in there. Still a bit in that side as well. All right, this is that first part done. Look at that one. What's that, Sam? I said, yeah, right. I can see straight through it. Now it looks really good. That oven cleaner. Mickey Mouse. Is the gun. Get out, Mr. Shane. Looks, looks really good. Has worked a treat. And uh, this is the progress that Sam's making. He's basically done nothing while I've been working hard. Yep. Well. Too right. <laughs> nah, still going. A little bit more work, fair work, uh, having to remove the fuel rails and uh, all the tough bolts, but we're getting there. And uh, next thing we ought to do all the cleaning in that disgusting section. All right, so it's all off. And this is the ports. They're still pretty dirty, but uh, we can't really clean all them because that's in the engine. I don't really want to do that. And there you have it. Nice. Let's open it up and see what's in. What condition it's like. She's going to be Mickey Mouse in there. Well, that's a gasket. Watch out, just don't bend it here. Now that the scraper. Oh, oh man, <laughs> look at that chunker. Oh, was that just sitting there? Yeah, nice. All oh, right. Yeah, that's the back cylinder. Oh no, this is the back cylinder, isn't it? This one here. Mm. Look at that, that's a lot of crap. It's good you can split the manifold line. Mm. Look at that runner, it's like completely blocked. Man, that's a lot of stuff. And of course we're gonna replace these gaskets. <laughs> Good, that's awesome. Just get the gaskets from your local um, Kia deal. Look at that one, big chunk just right in the runner. Yeah, it's... Just pull him out. Ugh. And they're so gooey too, eh? Hey? Gross. And she's ready for a clean, mate. Yep, let's get onto it. 
That's ridiculous. <laughs> I've never seen a car so bad. Wait till we do the Jeep. Nice. That's gross. That's ridiculous. Get amongst it. Oh, right, that's really bad. And don't be shy too to use your hands as well if you want to get in there. You'll never get the stuff out of your hands. Gonna gain about 100 horsepower now. And it'll be 10 kilos lighter. Yeah. This is what your lungs could look like if you smoke a diesel pipe. Look at that. So much. Yummy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's too heavy. <laughs> Bit of oven cleaner, Mr. Sheen. Works really good, that stuff. I reckon. Oh, you know what? This just needs scraping. So much in there. Look at that. <laughs> Man, clean out the pipes. Far out, right, that's heaps. It's ridiculous how the car breathes this junk. No. No wonder, like, you think it must just destroy the turbo seals and stuff when it goes through it. Just ready for reassemble now, um, <laughs> mate. Didn't I? Oh, you're recording. All right, looks good. Samuel has gone through and cleaned out the intake ports as best as he could. You may know him as Mr. Gold Class. Gold Class cleaning. Looking good. And I'm halfway through installing the catch can over there. Looking mostly good. One more hose to go. And the intake manifold itself is looking awesome. So check this out. That's it after a good clean. And the other bit is just out here drying off in the sun. Amazing. In comparison to what it was, it's absolutely amazing. So now we're just all reassembling it back together and it's going to be sweet. You step up on the manifold. Tell you what, it's a bit uh, fiddly. Oh yeah, the bottom. This guy. Beautiful, we're home. It is easier with that cover off, definitely. We'll put the other half on after this one's bolted up. <coughs> How many newton meters are you doing it to, Sam? 25. Yep. 25. Click! Click. <laughs> Beautiful. Oop. Righto. I helped. 
Doing well. Going splendid. It's a one man job. Oh. An, an extra set of hands would be good. <laughs> that bolt's gone. We'll this here. There he is. <laughs> we finally got it on. Spotless. Ah, oh, again. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect for the video. We'll get him later. I can see this customer's uh, not getting that bolt put in. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, sorry I missed the uh, start up. Samuel's flared all the injectors, plumbed it all back together. Looking really clean. And it's running beautifully. Catch cans all installed. Thank you, Sam. You're a legend. You're welcome, mate. <laughs> you got soot all over your nose. <laughs> a soot moustache. Well, it just shows you it's a dirty job. It is a dirty job. Beauty! Okay, so obviously this isn't all of it, but that is just some of what was in the intake system it's absolutely disgusting the rest of it's all over the grass here i sprayed off the grass as much as i could to try to clean it up but that is a lot of rubbish to be sitting in an intake manifold and uh i've actually seen ones on the net way worse than that so i think it's a really wise thing to try to do